the Wind Eater longsword. It's pretty cool. It looks really cool, too. There we go. Oh, he's coming to me. Maybe I can flash him out of the air if I'm swag. Uh, apparently it doesn't let you, like, right off the bat. I don't know. Man tracks, welcome back. This lance looks beast. That's because it's pretty well the best lance in the game. Best lance. It's not from, like, the last monster or anything, but it's an ancient shard. You have to mine for it. It's a really rare chance to get, and you have to use a shitload of stuff to upgrade it, and it's not worth a damn for a long time. It's got, like, super negative crits and no damage or anything, so... Yeah, it's pretty well the best. It's one of the really rare weapons. It takes forever to upgrade, and you basically have to work both one at a time. There's one of every weapon type in the game, and I chose to do the gun lance first. You can get a weapon of every type in the game that looks exactly like this one, though. Wish I could show you guys how to freaking shoot these guys out of the sky. But this one's being super hyperactive right off the bat here, so... So here you go. Do this, boy. Bam! That's how you snipe you damn dare rattlos. I'm surprised I actually got that because it took me so long to do with the bow. But yeah, it's considerably more damage with one shot with the gun lance, and that is how you snipe you rattlos out of the air. Gun lancing has definitely got to be one of my favorite things to do in this game. Oh, such fun! The Earth Crystals to upgrade it is kind of a pain indeed, but I've got it to its last level. As far as I know, this is its last level, I thought. But yeah, that's the thing. I had to collect 99 Earth Crystals to do it. I'd rather not be poison. Oh, he's just going to fly around. Well, if he's just going to fly around, then I'm just going to sharpen up. You going to wreck me? Oh, incoming wreck! You've been wrecked, son. You done got wrecked. All right, I'm gonna start off with uh, Cha Cha's trap actually, because I want to, so they can refresh soon. So I might hunt a few of the other monsters out here. Oh, Cha Cha's dead. Well, that explains things. Uh, Rathalus, what are you doing? Seriously. Oh, why am I grappled? Uh, which of the ancient weapons have I gotten? So far, this one is the only one. Oh, which ones have I gotten? Almost all of them, but they're all at their base level. Uh, actually, I've got Abner's music box to the second to last. Check mark wrecked. Thanks, Robin. Thank you. But yeah, I've got Abner's music box, and then I've got this one, and then I've got all the almost every other one at base level. I don't know which ones I don't have, but it's not very many. How did I shoot straight up? If you hit X and A at the same time, you'll do this upwards thrust right here. That's X and A at the same time. And then afterwards, if you tap A, boom! And if you hold R before you hit A, charge shot. And if you want to be even swaggier, and you want to make sure they fall down, R, A, quick reload, Keep holding R, two in a row, and then quick reloading after that will continue to fire them off. Ow. Get over here, you big fool. You are the biggest waste of monster hunting space in this game. Arzuros, you are pathetic, you know that? Pew pew, motherfucker. Oh, 
all that stagger the moment he gets up. So much damage. This fight's epic compared to that Arzuros. Uh, compared to that Rathalos. The Sir Rathalos Arzuros. It's all the same. Pumbas, leave me alone! Oh, right in his face! Oh, thank you, Pumba, for speeding up that process a little bit. Get wrecked, Pumba. Well, every day you see me shoot the Gunlands, though, huh? Right in the penis. Oh gosh, did not mean to reload right there. Osros, you suck. You are the dumbest excuse for a monster. That was a nice guard. That would have sucked really bad if he had actually crappled me right there and wasted my time. Cannot wait to have an evasion set for gun lancing. To where I can evade like a boss 24-7. Hey, Game Master! What's going on? What's up? Oh, how'd you like that? Might pill, wyvern fire. I'm thinking he might be ready to cap. No, apparently not. Yes, he is ready to cap. Thought so! That's what I thought! Wiggle away. Should I just kill him as he runs out? Do you know I could? Maybe if I tried. Ooh, I wasted a lot of time right there. I don't think it's possible now. Nope, not possible. It's close. Alright, let's cap this. Kid. Nice way to say it. Oh gosh, you fell, you fell over as you charged me. You're the worst, you can't even attack right. Get over here. Just go to bed, go to bed please. All right, I am gonna go and fight a real monster now. Thank you. Well, that's one thing that can happen when the monster can't see you. Bit annoying. Oh well, I guess. Rather lose. Rather lose. Where are you? Landing over here. Yes, he is. Okay. Swag. Oh my gosh, if I hadn't gotten touched by his toe, we got some free hits in there. But nope. Boom! Right in the face! Uh oh, this one can hurt. Yeah, that's general. If he roars at you, that's gonna happen.
If he takes off and hits you with his wind resist, that's gonna happen. The oh, luck. Good God, this guy's going ham right now. Oh, what's wrong now, Flappy Bird? Oh, wings been clipped. That was a pretty good shot out of the sky right there. That was a whim. Sometimes you gotta gamble with the gun lance because you can do some big damage like that that can end up paying off really big. You can flinch. You can really rely on uh, staggering monsters and things like that sometimes, going for those crazy shots that put you at risk. See how they knock them out of the sky once again. You're allowed to do that shit with a gun lance because that shot that I did a moment ago that knocked him out of the sky, he was literally coming at me. He's gonna nail me again and do more damage. Same thing when he was above me right there. If I hadn't knocked him out of the sky then too, then he probably would have ended up hitting me right afterwards and it would have hurt. But with the gun lance, you're allowed to do that shit. You kind of bet, bet your biscuits. You can throw a few more marbles on the table or whatever you want to say because ugh, you're probably going to stagger him like that again and again and again because you've got a fucking gun lance. I mean that like you're invincible or anything, but sometimes playing a bit risky is okay. Sometimes you can sacrifice at least a bit of your health to take out a lot of theirs. Okay. Shit. And then sometimes other silly bullshit happens and it doesn't work out well for you. Sometimes by that I mean a lot. Yes! So much fun. Oh, so much fun to knock him out of the sky. Should have blocked that, but oh well. Nice! Stagger, Kayamba! Just knocking him out of the air. Doesn't it feel just damn sexy? See you later, bro. Send you off with a warning shot. Um, where's he going? This way, apparently. What's up, uh, Pillowin? The Pillowin. Welcome in. What's going on? Just haunting me some monsters out in the Moga woods, shooting Rathalos out the air, sniping them down right now. These Rathalos are getting wrecked, that's for sure. I think he might be ready for cap. Oh, Kiyama's dead. Oops. Well, oh well. Hopefully he'll be asleep by the time I actually crawl up here. Nah. I don't know if it's ready for cap or not. In the face. player stuck in a double bracky quest. Any tips? Um, well, are you in, are you, what are you doing? Are you doing like G rank Tanzia by yourself or something? <clears throat> uh, tips, sword and shield isn't, um, you can play sword and shield in solo. It's not the best weapon for it though. Because it's really good for status and things like that. It's not really as good for just DPS. 
especially by yourself, it's really good for applying statuses, which allows your team in, like, multiplayer. Oh my god, I just set up the trap. I thought that was gonna happen. Whatever, he's dead. But yeah, uh, you could try a different weapon if you wanted to. 